Tay Marker in the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Let's get right to it. Action. What's going on, Animal City Bully Talk fans? As always, I'm your host, Ryan D. H. O. Ryan Succeed. And this is Alamo City Movie Talk, guys. Thank you so much for making us a part of your day. You know what to do, guys. Hit that bell notification. Talk movies with us. We love talking movies with every single one of you guys. And thank you, guys, for making us a part of your day. Let's get right to it. Angela, what are we talking about today? Oh, this one was one of one of the ones that's been on my radar for <laughs> quite a while. Yeah. Just because of the cast. But yeah. today, we have the pleasure of reviewing yep. the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Ooh, that slides out the tongue. Uh, billed as a true story about a secret British World War II organization, the Special Operations Executive, founded by Winston Churchill, their irregular warfare against the Germans helped to change the course of the war and gave birth to the modern black operations mm. with that being said and everything guys this is actually directed by guy ritchie stars henry cavill alan richardson stars alex pettifer and isa gonzalez now let's get right to it um one of the things i did appreciate about this film and everything and i know are you a huge guy ritchie fan kind of um his films are like a hit or miss for me there's some that i really really enjoy okay um but there are a couple i can name off that yeah. I, that were okay they weren't the best in my opinion mm -hmm. uh, but you know overall i think his films are pretty good so i was more i was curious about this when i when i heard that he was going to be like mm -hmm. the part of this but yeah. also i really liked the mix of the cast i think the yes. cast was really cool to see yeah um obviously we're huge <laughs> henry cavill fans like, yeah oh yeah 110 Any, percent. anything oh, yeah. that he really does i think it's great i did not see man from uncle yeah uh, and i know that's kind of similar like it's a good one black ops secret ops mission kind of feel for yeah. it um so i i really wanted to see him in this role because one i love his character he's so great he's great at everything <laughs> but also i was curious to yeah. see what this is gonna be about you know we mm -hmm. get from the trailer it's world war ii times yes they're really boom. like secret ops against nazis boom it's right there right yeah. so explosions good fun looks like it had some humor in it i was sold right i yeah. was sold and i will say i was absolutely not disappointed at all by this movie <laughs> it lived yeah, up and yeah. exceeded any expectation that i had like, the cast yeah. was so great i yeah. loved them so much especially henry cavill but also you love all the characters you yeah. want them to succeed in their black ops mission mm -hmm. and i think the story was so fun like this is just a fun <laughs> thrilling yeah. entertaining movie yeah and it's funny i will say like i know you have problem with some comedy and how it's sometimes be forced but i think it was just so natural in here mm -hmm. it was just so funny like i just i couldn't stop laughing i couldn't stop being entertained this <laughs> is a really good movie i think a yeah. lot of people are going to enjoy you know i gotta say henry cavill guy ritchie first off henry cavill is a man to be reckoned with he's uh i'm ex we're excited because he's actually announced yesterday as well before the uh premiere of this when it comes out in theaters uh that he's expecting his first child oh, so congratulations no. to you buddy congratulations henry cavill if you are watching this second thing guy Ritchie. oh my god guy Ritchie is really killing it as a director right now he's been in a lot of stuff there's a lot of movies the covenant is one of the films that that, that came out last year which was a very serious tone film with jake gillenall talking about gathering of true events and this one is also based on a true story so one of the things i would really do appreciate is biopics true story or just the montage of like almost like the inglorious bastards feel is that coming together to defeat and just kill nazis I love that. That is charismatic. It's very one of those things to where you are sucked in right away. And I got to admit, yes, I am picky with comedy. <laughs> but two, this movie is so great on the comedy, so great on the genuine. It, it flows so well, so organic. And I really did appreciate that. Guy Ritchie directs this movie so well. And I felt like it's straight to the point. You figure out, well, okay, this is the game plan. This is the this is the whole outtake. And I gotta admit, I am a huge, <laughs> huge, huge sucker when it comes to like forming a team or and like taking out a whole army. Mm -hmm. And what better way to take up Nazis, right? I mean, German Nazis and everything. So I, I thought that was really good. Very, uh, very good on the action sequences as well because I appreciate that. I, I think there was a very minimum uh, CGI, maybe a little here, here and there, but for the most part, though, it's not CGI. I appreciate that a lot. Mm -hmm. Uh, for that, uh, you know, and one of the things I also want to highlight as well is Alan Alan Richson. Okay, oh, so great. he is yeah. so good. Okay, coming from someone yeah. who's never seen any of the Reacher, so series, yeah, never seen I, it. and I haven't seen Reacher either. I heard great things about Reacher, but I haven't seen it. Right? Okay, so there's that. 
too. This is the same guy from Blue Mountain State, the show that you don't even like at all. That's like, yeah. And he is killing it on cylinders here. He played Aquaman, the the com or the how you call it like the the child version of Aquaman or whatever you want to say <laughs> uh, in Smallville. I mean, Aquaman wasn't really. I mean, it was yeah, it is what it the is. CW version. Yeah, the yeah, CW yeah. version of it, which <laughs> was okay. And he's been talks, and we talked about it off camera. He actually wants to play Batman. Do it. He wants to play Batman. Do it. Now, as far as physical physique, he was phenomenal. I mean, there was so much comedy relief in here that I really did enjoy. There's this moment in this scene where um, he's actually trying to protect, or they're trying to they're trying to rescue this other guy, and it's there's this there's just weird, genuine comedy violence that he just throws out this joke, and I thought that was very good and very inventive. I was just like, holy smokes, this is really good. And I enjoyed that a lot. I really did. Uh, Isa Gonzalez, she was great in here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man, she was she killed it in here. The last movie I could think her of was she was the girlfriend in Baby Driver. That Which movie I didn't see. Oh, mm, Baby Driver's know, so good. I know. Um, and yeah, so she she was really good. I mean, she didn't have a huge, large role in Baby Driver, but in this movie, she does, and I'm oh, I'm enjoying Great. it. I loved it. Charming. Yes. Yes. Badass. Like I, I, yes. I, 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 all all the cast, even like Henry Golding. He's <laughs> such a random character, but yeah. he's done action before, and he's yeah. just so fun. Like each, like you say, you love teams mm -hmm. that come together. Each one of them has their own purpose, what their mm -hmm. skill set is. And they're all like, you all want to root for them. You want them to come out of this mission yes, alive, yeah. well, you know, having succeeded their mission. And yes. that's great storytelling right there. So I, I cannot say enough good things about the cast. I think they're <laughs> I know so we, we, we you solely recognized Henry Golding. Um, uh, and, and, and I got to admit, though, he's he's come a long way. He really has. I mean, from Crazy Rich Asians. Uh, he did Snake you know, Eyes. Snake, I, yeah, yeah Snake, I forgot. But I didn't see Snake Eyes was OK. Yeah. I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't like it. it. I didn't like it. It was OK. Um, but if but as 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 far as his acting goes, we saw how well he did in Crazy Rich Asians, right? And we saw even more amazing uh, movie, of course, was the Gentleman film, which is also by directed by Guy Ritchie. So it's almost like they're working together, just like Christopher Nolan. You know, if you work, if Christopher Nolan uses a lot of the same actors, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like they stay the same network, and they're like, yeah. "Hey, we got this role. I know you can kill it." And I love, that. I love it when actors use the same, almost the same people in a way. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that a lot. I really do. And so uh, Henry Golding in here, loved him in here. And then as well, I loved him in The Gentleman. Now, as best as the best Guy Ritchie movie, uh, before we get into this review, what, who, what do you think is your best Guy Ritchie movie, if you could think of? Well, for me, it's got to be – it's between um, – it's got to be The Gentleman. Uh, it's one of my favorite films of his. Mm -hmm. The Gentleman or Snatch. It's one of those two. It's very close together. But just because uh, uh, I just love – I guess I love British acting or I love British, um, you know, when a British slang, British, all, I just love the British <laughs> yeah, sayings a lot. And so, I mean, you, you yeah. like the, the, what is it? Kingsman's too. Yeah. The King, completely, yeah. completely different, but you still yeah. like that like genre yeah. for me. I don't know. That's kind of hard. This one gives it, run for a money because yeah. i really enjoyed this one i i know i liked the gentleman yeah um i haven't like i said i haven't seen all of his films i i yeah. have i liked uh the covenant a lot that was yeah really good. that was a good one too. um but i say like i came out of this immediately wanting to see this again so i, <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta yeah. say it's probably gonna be one of the top ones up there okay um, i have to review all the movies and again yeah. that he's been in but i haven't seen snatched by the way so okay um but i will say this one is gonna be one of his top films for me because it was yeah. just so enjoyable so much fun i think a lot of people are really gonna be very pleased yeah. with this like it, they're gonna uh, yeah. it's, it's not what you expect like it's you know, such like a weird war movie, but it's funny and it has like mm -hmm. charisma and it's, but it's so like entertaining. If you like stuff like this, if you <laughs> like movies like this, you're you're yeah. gonna have so much fun. I think the majority of the audience are really yeah. enjoy this film, and even more so, Henry Cavill is the star in here, and he yes. is phenomenal. He is fantastic in here. I was, I was, I couldn't stop laughing every time he was on camera. He was serious for a moment, and then he had to throw a joke in there, and I just it just felt so great to see him on camera. But it was done Superman. so well. Yeah, it and so he well. led it. He <laughs> led it along with Alan as well. They really did charismatic. They, their chemistry it was very on point. I really did enjoy that a lot. And yeah, I'll leave it at that, guys. Questions for you guys. What did you think of this movie? Are you expecting to see this movie at a theater near you? Just put a comment down below if you are expecting to see this film. And if what's your expectations in here? Because I got to tell you, 
This movie is really good. Uh, it, it definitely surprised me. I'm not going to lie. It really did. And just the whole essence of like just – it's almost like Inglorious Bastards in a way, but just like – just pre-code on with the gentleman. It's, it's, or, like, or it's like it's like it's, it's like, like Inglorious – It's like a thrilling version. It's like Inglorious Bastards mixed in a little bit with Kingsman. Like, like kind less, of mix in Yeah, there. like less yeah. serious than Inglorious. And yeah. And more like thrilling, fun, and yeah. crazy. <laughs> and I had a blast. I had a blast watching this movie. We're going to go see this movie again. So I'm, I'm definitely going to recommend this movie, obviously. Uh, was this fun we deserve to say hell yes it was uh and then also angela let's go to ratings real quick what are you gonna what are you gonna rate this movie gosh this is so hard because it was so thrilling and entertaining again yeah. i haven't seen a movie in a long time where i step out of the theater and immediately want to go see it again <laughs> yeah it's um, been a long time it's yeah it speaks volumes to how, how great it was you know how successful it was and so i will say and again, this is, I'm not into like war movies. Like, yeah, I, I, Glorious I know. Monsters is really good. I know. And everything, but I'm not into war movies. <laughs> I know. That's why. That's why I was very surprised that you really but enjoyed this film. It was. It was, again. It was good. Good clean action, or not clean. I mean, it's pretty violent, but yeah. good action executed very well. Like some of the gore scenes and fight mm-hmm. scenes were really well. Uh, the cast chemistry and just like mm-hmm. you know the like you say organically flow of comedy was, was yeah. great. Everything was done well directed. Yeah. I would give it a solid nine just because Damn. it's a really good film in my opinion. Like yeah. I can't I can't really find anything bad in my opinion that you know I would do differently mm. or you know critique on. So I would yeah. say I I'm very very pleased and shocked. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> not shocked yeah. because it has the cast. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're yeah. great. But yeah, I would I say you. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it. One of the things I'm going to say before I start this, because Inglorious Bastards, it, to put in context to, the, to my decision here, Inglorious Bastards is one of my top five films, uh, definitely uh, yeah. of all time. One of the top five. Uh, it lingers between five and six, uh, but it's definitely on my top five no matter what, mm-hmm. just because of the acting chops and just that first scene, right? It gets mm-hmm. you sucked in, Quentin Tarantino. It's just that whole non oh the action dialogue that i really do appreciate and we get that a lot in here too at the same time too but it's also mixed in with regular violence which i did love and glorious bastards is the same thing too um first and foremost i'm gonna say i'm gonna give this a solid nine as well because though because here's the thing because henry cavill just it's it makes okay i know it's gonna sound weird but it makes history fun (laughs) <laughs> if you were to show this movie at a history class, hell yes. Uh, obviously, you have to get permission from adults and everything because it is a little bit. I think it's rated um, R. Um, it's rated R. So, bit, uh. but <laughs> this movie makes history so much fun and giddy, and I enjoyed it for what it was. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it. I feel like this should be shown in history classes. Like, hey, this is exactly M- what happened. Maybe, maybe high school seniors. Oh, of course, maybe. yeah, high school. <laughs> But I, yeah, and and I'm I'm always a sucker for a team up for one, and then for two, Henry Cavill. I'm always interested in everything he's got in, uh, planned, anything mm-hmm. that he's in. Uh, I was very surprised by Alan as well. The acting chops of him, uh, his accent was really good. I, I thought it was spot on. The and, uh, yeah, the Dutch. <laughs> yeah, and then Henry Cavill too. It just God, he just killed it on screen. He monstered that screen, and that's the thing too. He's not just a guy with muscles. No, he's an actor, true essence actor, and I really did appreciate that a lot, and I appreciate him in here as well. And I, and I wish all the actors the best to see what other projects are going to be on and everything. And Guy Ritchie is killing it. He made history fun, and I enjoyed this movie a lot more than I thought I would. And yeah, I'll leave it at that. Solid 9 out of 10. Obviously, we do recommend this movie, guys. Alamo City Movie Talk does recommend this film. Be sure to check this out at a theater near you. If you do not know, uh, if you do not know, be, it is good. Trust us, it is good. I've, it's fun, I, I thrilling, think, yeah, yeah, you're gonna have such a great time watching this movie, and you're gonna be very surprised as much as we are and everything. And it's it's actually getting pretty good ratings right now as well. So I, I feel like that this movie has really killed it. His last two movies, this movie and The Covenant have just been so good they've been so good uh serious tone yeah different like tone feel tone it was like serious yes you know it's tragic yes um you know it's about the war that's happening you know in the middle east so it's it's definitely different theme and genre but again you have you can have these two different polar opposite films and still have really good films yes it really speaks to like his work like his work as a director so i think it's really cool like to see that (laughs) <laughs> don't definitely hear and i i cannot wait to other movie goers and yeah put on comments down below let us know in the comments down below what did you think guys questions for you what did y'all think are you expect to see this are you kind of like eh, maybe i don't know trust us guys go check out this movie and let us know what your thoughts are below as always i'm your host ryan d come on ryan 680 
Oh man, shout out to Kelly and Ange. this is Alamo City Movie Talk, guys. Thank you so much for making us a part of your day, and see you at the movies, guys. Latest.